Back at the show, Brian Alvarez here, uh, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. Very happy today to be joined by John Moxley. We've got a lot to talk about here. John, how you doing? Pretty good, man. John? This weekend, this weekend, GCW presents Josh Barnett's Bloodsport 5, 7 Eastern, Fight TV, and Bloodsport.watch, and you are fighting on the show. Davey Boy Smith Jr. will be your opponent. What are your thoughts on the blood sport concept in this match with Davey Boy? Uh, I love it. It's really cool. Uh, from the first time I've seen one of these shows, uh, I've seen one in New York. And uh, it was WrestleMania weekend. And I didn't really know what to expect from it. I was like, is this going to be, what, what are we doing here? It, it wasn't very clear what, what, to expect and the first match that really stood out to me was uh harry smith david boy smith jr in his match and uh you know you've seen him in wwe new japan he's been places that i've been wrestled guys i've wrestled but seeing him in that environment made it like oh that's this is where he belongs he's the per, he's the perfect definition representative of the style and like like i said i didn't know what to expect what i was watching going in and then i went oh Watching Harry, I was like, it's just pro wrestling. I get it. It's, I see what they're doing. Wrestling. As, as pure as can be. No uh, bull crap. No, uh, no extra stuff. You know, just pure, simple wrestling. I'm trying to pin you or break your arm or submit you or knock you out or whatever. And that, you know, honestly, that's how I started. And this first day of wrestling school, they throw you in the ring. And they put you in stuff, and you learn how to get out of stuff. And you take dudes down, and you get taken down, and you you don't hit the ropes or nothing. You just you learn how to wrestle. And it, it's one of the funnest things to do, just to be on the mat, changing holds, and go, trying to tap people out, getting tapped out. It's a great uh, it's great fun. And, uh, you know, standing in the ring and uh, uh, trading leather and slugging it out with dudes, you know, that's uh, obviously what I like to do. And, uh Strangely enough, actually, I think the, uh, the what appeals to me is kind of the, the spirit and the attitude of it. I was immediately like, oh, this is where I belong. This is where I need to go. And these are my people. These are my fans. I'm going to be a part of this. And strangely, I think the comparison that I've had, it's going to sound weird, but uh, it's kind of when I first started doing death matches. I first came to, like, CGW and getting into that scene and so forth. And I never expected to get into that uh that style or that genre particularly but uh you know where i come from uh like you know the less thatcher school of wrestling that's always looked down upon like all oh, those idiots in louisville hitting each other with pie pans you know that was for people who can't work or whatever but once i saw you know the uh the athleticism and the uh creativity and just taking it to a new level I was like oh I've seen this in a totally different light but the main reason I fit so well there was the attitude the attitude is F you this is two dudes trying to hurt each other this is going to be violent the crowd is bloodthirsty this is not uh, nothing is we're not making a joke about this there's nothing ironic about this this isn't this is serious this isn't for everybody and, and this uh, shield your child's eyes and, you know, don't come looking for if you're looking for something soft, you know. The attitude to me feels the same way in blood sport, even though that's a, that might sound like a strange comparison. Uh, you know, obviously GCW does a lot of different types of wrestling and stuff, but blood sport is uh, obviously the exact opposite. It's just pure unarmed combat. We don't even know how many ropes. This is just... Uh, Stripped down, bare. I think that's a lot of Josh's vision. You know, is, is that? But I've heard him say is just stripped down, take away everything. It's just you, and that can be uh, kind of scary to just be out there, kind of feeling like you're uh, you're naked with your piece in your hand when you got nothing else to rely on. You don't have any. Uh, you don't have your little song and dance and your pyro and everything to to rely on that maybe you. Uh, found you relied on that a little too much it's just you out there dog like you got nothing else to rely on your skill set and your presentation and you know somebody might have thought they were uh some kind of 
big star with charisma or something, then you took away the pyro and their song and dance and their uh, outfit, and all of a sudden it, it wasn't so much, uh, wasn't quite what they thought they were. You know, it's it's just you out there, and that's uh, that's the appealing part. Is just the uh, no bull crap, the uh, pure combat, violence, winner, you loser. Know, that's it. Nothing, nothing else. You know, someone else that's uh, that's fought for Bloodsport, obviously, is Filthy Tom Lawler. And he, former top 10 middleweight in the UFC, and he has rolled with Davy Boy Smith Jr. And he said that this is a bad dude. And Harry's obviously been training grappling for a long time. And you have done, uh, you've trained at Extreme Couture. If you watch your pro wrestling matches, I mean, you've seen various things that you've added to your repertoire, the, the rear naked choke, the bulldog choke, et cetera, et cetera. I guess the easiest way to ask about your tr- your actual shoot training is, how many hours would you say that you have devoted to shoot-style training? Are we talking dozens, hundreds, thousands how much training have you put in? Uh, lately, and uh, especially this year, I mean, pretty much every day, and in, in in some form or another, uh, got a lot of uh, like secret training partners and a lot of uh, top secret uh, stuff at top secret places going on. But uh, always trying to, you know, I, I just love to do it too. Just uh, what you get out of it, uh, learning different stuff and, and getting there and, you know, sparring and fighting and rolling around and learning all this different stuff, whether you apply it to pro wrestling or not, it's just a good way to spend your time. So, so uh, especially in preparation for, for this, for a monster like Davy Boy, uh, a, a whole lot of hours. And, uh, you know, you, you're totally right. And I can tell you from, uh, from experience, trust me, I know. Davy Boy Smith Jr. Harry Smith is no freaking joke. This dude, I would like as far as I don't even know if you want to say pound for pound might not be the right term because he's a he's a horse, but he may be the strongest dude in all of wrestling. And I put that against anybody, anybody. I mean, this dude can just he can crush your skull with his bare hands, and it's not a. That's not a joke. You know, this is not a hyperbole when I say this about Dave Boy Smith. He is very serious. And, you know, his skill set and his knowledge and uh, taking that whole, like, heart dungeon torture chamber thing to a completely new level with his uh, knowledge of, of catch wrestling and submission and stuff like that. And he just hits freaking hard. And I've been hit by the hardest guys in this uh, in this industry, especially in the last couple of years. And I, uh, I'm not looking forward necessarily to that part on Saturday, getting my brain scrambled by uh, and potentially getting knocked out by by Harry Smith. I mean, watch a Harry Smith match, turn up the sound, and listen to it. And this dude hits it's really freaking hard. So uh, it could end up being a bad night for me. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got a lot of stuff coming up. And... uh it could all go you real, sure real do. south. I may not make it out of Bloodsport on Saturday alive, but that's why I'm there. I'm not there just to uh, play around or this. It's ain't a you like. I, I don't. I don't have to. I'm seeking this out. I'm putting myself in a horribly dangerous situation here and doing this because I want to live on the edge and I want to make hay while the sun shines. You know, I could wake up tomorrow and my body just might not want to do this anymore. You never know when. Uh, your number's going to get called. So I'm trying to have the best experiences in the ring and live life to the fullest. And I want to be in there with a guy who might kill me. And so, uh, so I'm looking forward to it, you know, uh, win, lose or draw. It's about the, about the experience and, you know, feeling the, that's the feeling I'm always chasing, man. Is the, uh, that feeling at the end of the night where your your head's rocked and you got your taste of blood in your mouth. You're, one of your te- tooth might be loose, you know, you're sweating and just that adrenaline brush. You never feel any better. I feel like crap most days every day, but you never feel any better than like right after a match where you really put it all out there and really uh, gave a hundred percent of, you know, your body and soul in, in the match. And that's, 
kind of the uh, you know that that's the opportunity uh, at Bloodsport. You know, it's a great place to do that to apply your trade and just go out there. Bloodsport is pure freedom of expression and uh, the violent expression, and you just go out there and completely let loose. And you're not encumbered by anything. There's no. You can just go out there and just be free and loose, like uh, like you're doing, uh, like you're doing hallucinogenics on the beach and running around in a loincloth or something. That's what it's like fighting in blood support. So I'm uh, very much looking forward to it. And I think fans are really going to enjoy it. We got a really cool setup, as you might have saw this past weekend on the show. You know, we got new fancy cameras and like a six camera shoot and they got all the great graphics and everything and a cool aesthetic and the uh the empty arena environment which lends but sport lends itself very well to an empty arena environment because you see and feel the action up close and personal and you know we're not out here uh playing patty cake with the audience or anything like that so i think the and the shows fly by you know and it's a different uh so i mean you know you're not sitting there for four hours you know, the shows fly by, they're really easy to watch, and uh, you can't take your eyes off the screen because a finish can come at any moment. There's no formulas. There's no, uh, I know that nothing's really going to happen until he makes his comeback and he does his little dance and he does his trademark thing that, you know, counters a finisher with a finisher and all that. All kind of the, the tropes that we've, fans have become accustomed to, whether they realize it or not. In blood sport, a mask can just end. At the snap of a finger, you could be you could blink and it's over, and which is really cool too because you cannot take your eyes off the screen. So I think uh, fans are really gonna uh, really gonna enjoy this this weekend and really see all the uh, the effort and the passion that all all everybody on this on this show is gonna bring. Now you have got a baby girl on the way. Congratulations, obviously. And that's that's a few months down the road here. But in, like, the next month, I mean, you've got a blood sport match, and you've also got an exploding barbed wire match in the main event of this Revolution pay-per-view. So we're talking dudes smashing you, dudes punching you, dudes blowing you up, dudes throwing you in a barbed wire. I know this is probably an impossible question to answer, but do you anticipate that when this baby girl arrives... You may have second thoughts about some of these matches, and maybe now's a good time to get them out of your system. Or do you just picture this going all the way to the end? Uh, I mean, I've never had a kid before, so I don't know how much that would change my... Uh, I don't know if all of a I could say, no, nothing's going to change, and then get the kid, and then all of a sudden everything changes. So I don't want to... I can't really anticipate the answer to that question, but... uh I would, I would think that uh, the lesson I would want to impart to my child or any anybody would be to, you know, well, you don't want to do anything stupid or, or reckless, and uh, in life, you also you got to live it while you're here, man. You've been blessed with this opportunity to be healthy, and uh, me, me, I'm, you know, I. I got, I got the greatest life in the world. I have a beautiful wife, about to have a kid. Uh, I get the opportunity to do what I like to do for a living. I don't have to go to a regular job on Monday. And when you first start wrestling, that's half the appeal. It's like, man, I would really, that's what they do for a living. I would never have to, like, go work in a factory or anything like that. Like, cool. So I, I think I would be like, yo, when you have the opportunity to, you know, live life and do the things you want to do, you know, be grateful for that and take that opportunity and don't uh, waste it. All right. Well, actually, hold on. Watching TV or whatever. Stand by. we got to head to a break. Back in a moment, everybody. Observer Live. Here, Wrestling Observer Live. I'm Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. John Moxley joining us here today. Bloodsport 5 is coming up this weekend. GCW presents Josh Barnett's Bloodsport 5, Saturday night, 7 Eastern, Fight TV and Bloodsport.watch. It's Moxley versus Davey Boy Smith Jr. on the show. Where's Jim Ross? Going to be a slobber knocker. And, John, we got like 30 seconds here. So my final question, let's say you go in there, bulldog choke Davey Boy Smith Jr. There's a lot of guys on the Bloodsport roster. Who's next? Uh, that would uh, we have to keep 
keep things spoiler free. So I, and I don't want to. I, I got to focus on just not getting my own head ripped off by this this animal. I would say though, just uh, if you've ever watched anything I've ever done or enjoyed any kind of, uh, if you enjoy real physical, uh, nasty, violent wrestling. Trust me, you are not going to want to miss this. Of everything going on right now, this is something I'm extremely excited for. I can't wait for uh, for this to happen on Saturday, and I'm I'm super stoked about it. So you should be super stoked about it, and uh, you will not regret it if you uh, uh, go to Fight TV or Bloodsport Watch TV dot Bloodsport dot Watch something like that. Uh, check it out, and uh, you you will not be disappointed. I'm very excited about this, and you should be too. All right, we're out of time, everybody. Thanks so much, John. Fight.tv, Bloodsport.watch. We'll see you next time, Wrestling Observer Live. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the join button, sign up today. You can also click subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.